All right, guys, what is up? I'm Asgard's Champ. Welcome to episode 30 of my playthrough for Total War Three Kingdoms in this mess of a campaign that we've got ourselves into. Um, so we can see here on the... This is the eastern uh, kind of border of my territory. We've got like six armies of South South. They're not all full stacks by any means, but still, six armies is a lot to deal with. Um, hopefully they're not all going to be coming for me all at once. It looks like this army here... And this one here, maybe sort of settling into these um, these settlements for defence, maybe. We just defeated this army here. Um, so we've got maybe three to deal with, maybe four. We'll see. We we're only defending with two armies, though, and a garrison. So we definitely need to send someone, someone, over to help out. So that's going to be in the form of Zhang Shengzhu's army. She's going to head over. Uh, just before we go any further, by the way, guys, links down in the description to my social media. If you want to give me a follow there, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to make a bit of a defensive stand here. There's no way we're going to be able to push. However, that does kind of free, well, hopefully free these guys to push. So this is uh, Sun Ren's army and Hongai's army. Now, they're currently dealing with um, what looks like an army of the Kingdom of Song. Or two of them, actually. Two of them. And then there is an army down here who belongs to Lo Jun as well. Which we need to be careful of. They're currently going to be in there um, replenishing because we did defeat them in battle. Um, but yeah, these guys have settled down into a fort. And then there's a small stack here. So we should be able to work out something, get ourselves out of this situation. Maybe make a bit of a push for some territory. Uh, there's a few settlements here. I think there's one here and one here as well. Uh, Ruyang in the Chen province. And Zhu Chang in the... Yingchuan province. So we'll make a bit of a play for those if we can. There's also this one, Runan and Pingu, which we need to, oh sorry, Pingu, Pingu in Runan that we need to probably take as well. Um, and then Gushi over here in Huainan. I think we're going to go take that with Zhang Shengzhou first before we come over here to help. But we'll see, we might need to kind of rush over maybe. Anyway, we are at the start of a turn, so we do need to kind of make, make a bit of a decision as to what we're going to do. These guys are going to, you know, stick where they are and replenish. I don't know why they're not replenishing, actually. Yeah, I'm not too sure why they're not replenishing. Um, they're in a normal stance. wonder if I pop them into the settlement itself, then they might start replenishing. Yes, okay. Very small amount, though. Not too sure why that's so... Such a tiny bit of uh, replenishment there. There's a bit of an odd one. But it's fine. Keep them as they are. They're pretty much going to have to wait there. I don't want to send them out just yet. I did want Cheng Pu's army to replenish somewhat, but this is atrocious. It's going to take 29 turns, apparently, it says there. Interesting. Um, that's something we need to work on, I think. It's probably just down to the buildings that are here in this settlement. Um, don't think there's anything here which actually boosts our recovery time. No, okay. And we don't have the faction support because two of these uh, settlements in this province are held by, by Tao Tao. So that doesn't help us. Anyway, we will have to come back to that later. Let's actually go and take this province. My hope is that by besieging this settlement here, or just taking it, I think it's only a small settlement, um... We'll draw out some of Cao Cao's armies over this way. I don't think in Gushi, I don't think there's much of a garrison. Very small, so we should take them. No problem. So let's do that straight away. Yeah, we'll just delegate this one, I think. No need to fight this one on the battlefield. Hardly lost any men. Perfect. And a little bit of money. And should be heroism as well. Nice. So then we'll occupy that. So yeah, twofold kind of reasoning for doing this is that it you know, gains uh, boosts our economy uh, and also hurts Cao Cao's, but yeah, hopefully draw some of his armies up this way, split them up a little bit. Um, from here though, we are going to move over to Shuchun, depending on what they do, because if they move two of their armies up to meet this army here, I might bring them down to meet a uh, group up with these. We'll see. We'll see how it goes and what the situation is in the next turn, I guess. Um... Yeah, and then I think we want to attack here as well. He doesn't have the support of this as an ally, of this army here, which is good. So if we move, who do I want to attack with, actually? Let's attack with... Uh, let's attack with Hongai's army. So we'll move 
we'll move some Ren up this way. And then, oh, he is actually boosted by the garrison here in Ruyang. Is that this one? Yep. Not an insignificant uh, garrison, but we do have two full stacks to fight him with. Uh, so I think we should be okay. Let's see. He does want to fight us. Uh, we could delegate and win a close victory. But I'm not too keen on losing a bunch of men doing this. Now, what does he have in his arsenal? Um, he's got lots of me like medium G militia or warriors of Yi. So medium halberd infantry. All rounders good against mounted. Weak against missile attacks, so I could try and use that to my advantage. Shoot at them. Skirmishes, he doesn't have too much. He's got two units of skirmishes, no, three units. So that's hardly anything compared to my, well, four there and four there, so I've got eight. I've got a half decent amount of cav. I think the plan should be for attacking a fort here is to take out, obviously, the towers and the walls and the fort so they're not shooting at us and make it more of an open open battlefield. Um, nullify his skirmishes and then move him for the attack because we'll almost certainly win any sort of skirmish battle um, against him. He does have a lot of cav, though, so I do need to watch out for that, but we, we've got the spearmen to, to kind of counter it. Maybe not so much in this army here, but I'm hoping what we should probably do is group these two armies up together and then attack all at once. Anyway, I'm rambling on now. Um, actually, one other option we have, because he does have this uh, reinforcements, which have quite a lot of... Well, a lot of spearmen and a lot of skirmishers as well. Uh, he's to fight a knight battle. Now, this evens it out quite a lot in terms of who wins. Um, we're still down as winning a Pyrrhic victory. Interesting. I do wonder if that's maybe beneficial for us. You know what, let's try that. Let's try it in a... Um, as a night battle. So it's just one stack versus one stack, and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the battlefield for this one. Uh, so guys, I've actually changed my mind completely. <laughs> this is terrible. But um, the, the reason I've changed my mind is because if we fight this as a night battle, um, he's got... What's that? Six... Units of cav, and I've only got two units of spears. Uh, they will trample me, and I'm a bit worried about that, to be honest. So even though we'd win the skirmish battle quite comfortably, um, well, not even that comfortably, because then we'd only have four sets of skirmishers. So yeah, it's, it's not a good idea to fight a night battle on this one. Yeah, he'll have more skirmishers. Um, actually, more than us. Uh, but these are only cheap units, so again, should be easy enough to get rid of them. And if these guys are coming in as reinforcements, they should hopefully start outside the walls, meaning that we can um, hopefully take these guys out before they even reach the uh, the fort. Anyway, again, I've uh, waffled on loads there, so I will see you guys on the battlefield for this one. All right, then, guys. So um, here in the deployment, pretty open battlefield. No way really to hide other than these trees, but I don't think I'm going to need to. My reinforcements coming in from the far side, which is absolutely fine, will let them do that. Um, and their reinforcements are actually coming in from behind here. So I'm going to set up sort of... Well, there's not too many forces coming in here. I think my cav... I don't want to send my cav in, only because um, they had a lot of spearmen with them. So my cav I'll keep out and face this way with them in case they decide to charge out or anything like that. Uh, I'll send a lot of infantry and I'll send all my skirmishes as well. And then what I'll do is when these guys come in, I'll bring them in, um, set up over here, start taking out the towers and so on. I think we've got access to fire arrows. Yeah, we do. And I think that army has access to fire arrows as well, if I remember rightly. So we've got enough in the way of uh, fire arrows to take out these towers and so on. Um, so yeah, I'll set the troops up and then I'll be back with you because it'll probably kick off straight away as soon as these guys and their reinforcements come in. So... Be back with you, Charlie. All right, guys. So initial setup. Then I've uh, taken the bulk of my infantry over here. I do want to just kind of get these guys out of there as quickly as possible, um, and all my skirmishes. Yeah, we're just going to try and take them down as quickly as they come in. Um, have them route or run away, whatever. Um, finish them off, and then over this side, we've kept Hong Kai and uh, the rest of my infantry. Um, put the spears on the flanks just in case they charge out with their cav. Uh, we'll do our best to 
nullify that. I don't think they will, though. I feel like they will probably stay in the fort. And then what I've done is I've actually left my cav over this side, um, and they're going to link up with the cavalry that come in with my reinforcements, and all together then they're going to group up. And uh, once the walls and stuff have been taken out, we'll try get into the fort and flank, and hopefully that will be enough. Um, my concern is going to be if they charge out at either of my armies, because... I'm going to have to very quickly get over there and, and form those troops up, which is going to be difficult, I think. Um, so actually, let's group these guys all up because I don't want to get them muddled up with the reinforcements that come in. But yeah, as soon as this battle kicks off, we're probably going to be fl uh, flicking between sort of this fight here and uh, those guys over there to get them formed up into some sort of sensible formation um, in preparation for the, the big attack on the fort. And again, this is all um, reliant on them not striking out and uh, riding out and attacking us so i'm gonna start the battle and then let's see actually i might move these guys even closer so that they're basically running into us as they come in um yeah what do i want to do that actually because it might be worth me actually getting for one charge bonuses on them and also having my skirmishes be able to pick targets as well right then let's start Okay, and they've obviously come in at a weird angle. Because that's what they do. Let's start shooting at their skirmishes with mine. These guys all charge in. They've actually got more men than I thought they had. But it's fine. Um, or is it? I <laughs> don't know. Where have all these guys come from? I'm sure they didn't have this many in the garrison. You know what? Let's send over these guys um just in case just in case because they do have a lot of troops here which i was not anticipating and let's now quickly fly over here to my reinforcements and let's start getting these guys formed up somewhat and again apologies for any technical issues we face here my pc struggles when we have these big uh big battles going on so yeah, apologies for that. I'll do my best. We are going to have to flip back over to the other fight over there shortly. And let's get the cav formed up as well. Okay. Let's get back over here. Just to make sure we're not getting our asses kicked. And we have actually been charged here um, by well, one of my skirmish units. So let's actually shoot at them. Please. To attention. Try and take them out before they cause too much damage to my skirmishes here. Stand ready. Yeah, you can see they're charging the next one now. They're going to cause a bit of a problem for me. Um, we do have our other guys coming in over here, though, so that's good. Let's actually send the two generals in to charge them. Uh, just to distract them a little bit, I guess. And let's have these guys pull back, if possible, to start shooting at their skirmishes again. Could even probably pull back one of these units to screen them. Okay, not sure why that's going on. Looks like they are staying in the fort as well. So that's good. Get these guys shooting now. Now we are winning uh, over this side. Now they, they were pretty weak troops. As soon as we get these skirmishes out of there, I think we'll be fine. And they are going to go down pretty quick as well, I, I would imagine. Yep, that unit out of run. So you guys now charge in, please. And skirmishes do your thing too, please. I don't know why they keep running forward. Please don't do that. Just want to take these guys out as quickly as we can. And then we'll reform these guys afterwards. And everyone else is reformed on the other side. It looks like they're not charging out. So it'll give us a bit of time to uh, get everyone positioned the way we want them. Alright, so if everyone would like to start shooting now, please. Are the units we're asking you to shoot at? They're all running now as well, these guys, which is good. Uh, let's actually send one guy straight into those skirmishes there. Let's get all the mounted generals over there. 
Just chasing them off more than anything. And go, please. Actually, he's on foot. I don't know why. Where's his horse gone? All of them are on foot. <laughs> That's annoying. I thought they were all on horseback. Um, you know what? Can we get them? No, I think the mounts have been killed. I think I might have charged them into spears, and that could be why. Anyway, um, is what it is. Right, they're running now as well, so that's fine. You guys run back, please. Nice. So, that's part one done. Let's get everyone else, all these guys, formed back up over here. I'm going to have to do this in groups, I think. Just get them over there for now, and we'll actually make them walk. And while they're doing that, are they going to be within range of stuff? No, just out of range, which is fine. Um, while they're doing that, let's actually start forming these guys up the way we want them. Um, now, we are going to try and burn down all these walls. So, I guess the first thing is getting them formed up in such a way that um, once the walls are gone, we can kind of do our thing. And get flanks uh, in around them and that kind of thing. We've got all my spears over here, which I'm just going to keep on one side. Um, the reason being, I will move them against their cavalry when the time is right. Archers, let's put them in behind. Got a couple more units of axemen over here. And we'll pop them this way. Just on the flanks. And then my cav. Well, my cav can counter their cav as well. Um, so that's something I need to be... Aware of, try and remember. I've actually got two more units of cav here, which I've completely forgotten about. So let's get them in there as well. And then the generals themselves, let's just chuck them in at the back for now. And again, you guys walk, please. Right, I will fast forward until I've got everyone set up the way I want them. And then I'll be back with you guys. Alright then guys, so everyone is pretty much how I want them. Uh, I've set them up in sort of two formations on either side. Now what I need to do is grab my archers that can use flaming arrows and get them in to start shooting. Now unfortunately I only have one on this side because uh, the other one did die. But let's send them in regardless. And we do want to actually start skirmishing sort of as soon as we can. So let's start shooting at these guys as well. Um, now we can send my infantry into screen if needs be. Um, let's actually pop all these guys on skirmish mode, just so they do run away if they get charged. Strangely, I think the music stopped as well, so I do apologise for that. There we go, it started again now. So yeah, let's get these towers burnt down. They are going to start getting shot at by them pretty much straight away. Um, let's do our best to get rid of them as quickly as we can. I think with four units on this side, these should go down pretty quickly. And someone's run out of ammo already. That's not good. Didn't realise these guys were so low on ammo. But apparently they are. Regardless, um, hopefully that fire they've started there is enough to... Actually, no, they are still shooting. Someone's run out of ammo, I'm not sure where. Anyway, uh, let's keep going with these uh, flaming arrows. And then soon enough we'll take them off the flaming arrows and have them um, just shoot at these guys and try skirmish them down a little bit before the battle starts, I guess. Okay, that's done. Now, yeah, let's get them shooting at people as well and let's get the rest of these guys all moved in. And let's put the cavalry here in the trees. This army on this side is probably going to be the one that... It's going to do the most damage against them, I would imagine. Uh, these guys are getting shot at now like crazy, which is not what I wanted. Uh, they've run out of ammo, so let's actually charge, bring them back. The rest of these guys, let's also bring them in too. Yeah, unfortunately, weren't able to take out that tower. The skirmishers have done a number of mine. Um, hopefully we can use these skirmishers here to take them out as quickly as possible. Um, let's see. Let's keep these guys together because I want them to intercept and take out any generals like this guy that might come after our skirmishes I 
kept, kept all the skirmishes on that side, which is fine. It just means they're going to be shooting at me a bit, but, um, you know, that's okay. Let's just get these guys all charged in, all together. On that side, cause a bit of a distraction. And with these guys, yeah, let's just keep shooting. Uh, they've got a nice blob of troops over there. Let's go for them too. Now let's start actually moving these guys around. So they can do what they need to do. Alright, now the general has charges. So I should keep the archers back now as well. Go on, keep up. Yeah, if our three generals kind of team up on theirs, that's Send perfect. And yeah, they've Come actually on. sent in some cav here as well. So let's get the spears moved around. And uh, let's get these guys charging in now too. Going to decline that. Some of our guys are running uh, on that side actually, I think. Yep, so the bulk of their troops actually are over here now. Uh, which is fine, we can... We can Almost certainly handle this, I think. Um, especially when these guys come in from the back and charge them. Let's get them in now. And same thing on this side as well. They are actually shooting at us again, so let's deal with that. And get my skirmishers to shoot at them, I think. And let's charge these guys in this way. Charge them in the back, and I think that should be it, really. I think we've taken out their general, too. Yep, and their uh, cab as well. So let's get these guys all charged in. And as for my generals, let's find another one of theirs. It's this one here. And yeah, with my skirmishes, let's actually just shoot at theirs, because they are doing a bit of damage to me. Not the uh, skirmishing advantage I thought I had, but never mind. They've actually charged their cab straight into my non-spear units, so that's a bit of a mistake by me. I wasn't really paying attention to that side. Again, it's always my micro that kind of lets me down in this game. I'm not very good at it. Uh, but there we go. Such is this game sometimes. Okay, this general's off. Done with. And I think they've got another one somewhere. Yep, over here. So, some crown as well. Same with you. Go charge in. And we want these units here to charge their cav on this left-hand flank. These spears and these spears here as well. Let's get them all in. These guys should take these guys out. It might take them a while because they're kind of medium armor troops. But they'll do it eventually, so that's fine. Uh, these crossbows are nearly gone. Well, nearly running, should I say. Let's flank into the back of these guys as well. Get all our generals in against their general here. Take him off the board and then hopefully it will be a case of their men routing. Alright, they're nearly done for, so let's start shooting into... Actually, let's stop shooting at them and start shooting at these guys. Again, don't want to shoot my own troops. I think that's basically it. Just waiting for these guys to buckle now under the pressure of all this. Let's send these generals in. Yep. These guys are going to be routing soon as well. All of their generals are running. Job well done, I think. Bit of a messy battle. Uh, it usually is when there's lots of troops on the field. Not only because my system starts getting a bit sluggish and slowing down, but uh, just because of the micro that you've got to do for them as well. I'm, I'm not very quick with it. Not as quick as I should be. Let's just stop all my archer shooting as well. Anyway, I think we've done this now. Now I'm going to spend a few minutes chasing troops down because uh, I'd like to kill as many as I can. But then I'll be back with you on the campaign map. Nice, that's them dealt with then. One thing I realised in that battle is I didn't even use my cavalry. I completely forgot about them. Uh, which is good and bad. It means that they'll all be full strength um, for the next battle, but Anyway, we did lose quite a few men, 890, uh, but we did take all them out as well, I think. Um, didn't kill as many troops as I was hoping to kill, um, but we did enough damage anyway, it's, it's fine. Um, okay, so, uh, Karnostep, one of the commenters on one of the previous videos, is also 
got his own YouTube channel, definitely go check him out. I'll leave a, a link to his channel in the description below, but he gave me a great tip in that um, I should stop just executing everyone uh, and probably release some people too, only in that it makes um, getting peace with these, with these factions later on um, a bit easier. If I keep killing them, they'll hate me and they won't ever go, uh, won't ever make peace with me, which is what we're finding with Salso at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll release him. We'll take a bit of money as well, which is good. Um, but yeah. The then we're going to take the replenishment to get our troop numbers back up a little bit. Um, so a couple of options now in that... Well, we don't want to chase them down too much, I don't think. But there's this settlement here, which is kind of ripe for the taking. Um, it does mean that Ruin here becomes kind of open to attack from here, from Pingyu. But it might be worth taking just to disrupt and upset the Duchy of Song a little bit. We'll have to do it next turn either way. Um, so let's just move these guys back together. Um, they're also not going to take any replenishment because we're in enemy territory, so that might be a reason to take it. But I do want to keep these guys together for now, so next turn we'll do that. Uh, and maybe even chase down this army and uh, finish them off. And there's this one here as well. We'll see how it goes next turn. Um, let's just check on these things. So Sun Quan's gained rank. Got friends as well. Uh, where's Sun Quan? I think that might have been at the start of the turn. I might have done that in the last episode. I can't remember properly. Uh, but I think that's all the armies dealt with. We do have this army down here in the south as well. Um, who's really just sitting there for defence against uh, Shiji over here. They're not at war with us. But they are a vassal of the Duchy of Song now. Same with uh, Bejian as well. And I do feel like they're probably going to go to war with me shortly. Um... So that's another concern that I have. I'd like to make peace with the Duchy Song if possible, as quickly as possible, so I can sort of deal with Sao Tao. Um, Zhufu is sending an army up north. It looked like they were heading for this um, settlement here. Should be good. They're my vassal. The more they can help out, the better. Again, that might draw some troops down this way again. So yeah, we'll uh, see where the next turn takes us. Let's end it there. Um, kind of not looking forward to what happens, but let's see. Yeah, so here comes the pain now. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a concern. So this is on the eastern border, and they've brought four armies to come and fight me. Now we've got one kind of full stack here in Zhang Hong's army. They're the ones they've attacked, so they'd be the ones I would deploy with, which is good, because that's they've got kind of the, the most numbers and the, the better troops, I think. Cheng Pu's army would be coming in as a reinforcement. Um... And the garrison. The garrison is not too bad. It's not huge though. Whereas they're coming in with kind of two, almost three full stacks, and then one very small army. But the the three full stacks come with three generals each, so that's nine generals then on the battlefield. Obviously, they're not going to want to fight a night battle. Um, I could turn off the large army battle and. It'll help with system performance because I think seven armies on the map all at once is going to uh, struggle. Uh, my system's going to struggle a little bit with that. But I think as well what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to leave that to the next episode. So if you made it this far, uh, thank you very much for watching, as always. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. Leave any tips or feedback for me, as always, down in the comments below. I think with this particular battle, I am probably going to need it. Um, and if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one.